good looking? What you got cooking? How about cooking something up with me? Hey, sweet baby. How's about baby? We find us a brand new dress of tea. Well, hello, boys and girls, and welcome to my neighborhood. It's a beautiful morning here at the Turner Place, where God has given us a heaping help and reminder of His glorious creation. And today, we're going to be doing salsa baked eggs featuring Tascosa hot sauce. Let's go ahead and put some fire to this and get this started. You want to go ahead and get your grill heated up to about 350 or more. Because we're going to be doing some bacon. Salsa baked eggs. A simple recipe I pulled right off the Tascosa hot sauce webpage. Tascosa hot sauce gets its name straight from the history books. Amarillo's predecessor, Old Tascosa. Known for its rowdy cowboys and its saloons. And its famous Hogtown district. Now also... They've been known to have a few outlaws pass through that place. Such as Billy the Kid. Wait a minute, that's no outlaw. Now here in the Texas Panhandle, we like to think we've grown up a little bit the last 150 years. But we haven't forgotten our Wild West and pioneer traditions here. Like good hot sauce and locally owned businesses. Now this is definitely one of those recipes where less is more. Now doing a uh, review of the salsa, I didn't want to you know, get a real complicated uh, recipe. And this is just basically a little salsa in your uh, pan or skillet. Break a couple eggs on top of it. And a little salt and pepper to taste. And throw it in your grill for about 12 15 minutes. Now, how much separate can you get from that? And oh, boy, it's going to be some goodness, too. Well, it's been a good uh, 12 15 minutes. Oh, look at that goodness. Mm mm mm. Uh, it looks like it's just the way I like it. I like my yolks just a little bit runny. Now I'm going to add a little shredded cheese to it. Now I shred my own cheese and don't let any yahoo tell you there you know, doesn't matter about pre-shredded pre-packaged cheese because they put all kinds of stuff on it to keep it from clumping and there is a taste and texture difference so don't let nobody tell you any difference. So I'm going to put me a little shredded cheese on here. And you know what? Let's be honest. Some bacon bits never hurt nobody. I'm gonna throw a little. I'm gonna throw some bacon bits on here. And we can put, you can put a little cilantro at this point. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that. That's beautiful. Mmm. Mm, yeah, baby. That's some good stuff. I think I need to open a cafe just to, just to serve this. Mm. And see, this is the thing I really like about uh, Tascosa salsa. It has a real, real fresh taste to it. You know, a lot of salsas overdo it with the uh, with the tomato paste, and uh, you know, it has a real pro, you know, uh, real production taste to it. And uh, Tascosa salsa still still maintains that fresh out of blender, you know, as good as you can get, you know, after you know canning and everything. This is good. Mmm. And see how it has a. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera there, but you can even see all the fresh ingredients, and it's not all you know boogered up with a bunch of tomato paste and fake stuff. There's no preservatives. 
it's just as, as pretty close to home cooking and it probably should be since it's family owned here in Amarillo, Texas since 1957. And I better like it because I sure enough grew up on it and I've eaten an awful lot of it. Mm. That's some good stuff. All right, boys and girls, happy trails. Tascosa hot sauce can be found in Drug Emporium, Fiesta Foods, Party Stop, and M&R Liquors. And don't forget to be on the lookout for their brand new extra hot habanero Tascosa salsa.